Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 18, and we're continuing our playthrough of Chrono Trigger. We found out that in 600 AD, Magus is going to summon Lavos, the critter that destroys the world in 1999, and uh, we're going to try to stop him from doing the summoning by traveling back to the past and altering things. We found out the battle is not going well, and the hero has gone to the southern continent. So we're going to head to the bridge, attempt a crossing, and then uh, and then go from there. So uh, let's uh, go ahead. Let's do our save for the hero appears. I think we did that before I cut the last episode, but uh, we'll do that again anyway. Never hurts to check, double check, and check one more time. We've no more foodstuffs. Would that our strength were enough to best the Fiend Lord's army, but alas, our only hope lies with the hero. We sent our order's finest knights to march on the enemy in order to ensure the hero's safe passage. I'd thought those stories of the hero who would come bearing the badge no more than bedtime tales, but now he's come and there's little to do but trust in him. Uh... <laughs> Could the hero alone truly have the power to defeat an army of fiends? Alright, uh... So let's try to run back to the castle real quick. And see if I can get the chef to uh, cough up the jerky. That also gives me a good excuse to run over here and pick up two more shelters from the, uh, the guy hanging out in here. Because, you gotta remember, that's 150 gold a shelter. And... <laughs> That's uh, 300 gold worth of equipment, and I am a cheapskate, so there that is. So we've got the latest chatter. No, no. All right, we talked to everybody in the kitchen. No? Seriously? Cough up the food, man. Alright, fine. I'll skip the food. I was trying to be nice to the knights. I wonder if it's a I wonder if there's a uh bug in the PC port. Alright. Our provisions are depleted. Have the supplies still not arrived from the castle? We'll starve at this rate. Is that it? Did I just not talk to the commander? I seriously needed to talk to the commander first? Alright. No, oh, well, gives me an excuse to pick up two more shelters. All those burning through my time. And I still gotta edit and upload. <laughs> Alright, the enemy dropped a shelter. I desperately, desperately want to sting the Rolling Stones. Give me shelter. But I desperately do not want a copyright strike. Especially because uh, YouTube's been a little extra special on that end. You must help the king. You must hurry with the provisions. Is this food fit for the king? What? My brother's lyres are nearly empty? Serves him right thinking you men with swords are the only ones protecting this kingdom. <laughs> Enough of that. Are you never going to set aside your petty feud? Your grown men. Act like it. Mind your own business. What do you know about it anyway? Grumble, grumble. A grumbly person in the kitchen? Why, I've never heard of such a thing. <laughs> hey, I, I I also get kind of grumbly when I cook, so, you know, especially when there's a sad puppy giving you sad eyes. Wait. Take this for the troops. Obtained a spiced jerky. And this is for you, here. A strength capsule. Why, thank you, good sir. 
When you see that fool brother of mine, tell him he had better come back alive. Well, it's true. I mean, I do also get a little cranky when I'm cooking. And it always amazes me that a certain puppy seems to forget that, uh, we are not the people that feed him from the kitchen. That's a certainly certain family member who doesn't seem to follow rules as well as, uh, he was at implementing them. And enforcing them. Um... Dude, we just left for two minutes, and we got two dead guys on the ground, and somebody else is missing? What happened here? It seems mere men haven't the strength to stop these fiends. Uh. We've no more foodstuffs. What, do they die of hunger? The hero reached the far bank, but our men suffered heavy losses in the crossing. Oh, hey. I, I know, I wasn't trying to go there. I was trying to talk to your dead man over here. Alright. Lord Chrono, what word? Give him the food? Yes. Food, he's brought us food. It was my brother? I see. He saved us all. Lord Chrono, if I should not return alive, give my brother my thanks. Uh, I was hoping to go out there and kick butt and take names. What's happened? Magus's troops have launched their attack. Our defenses will not hold. Your Knights of Guardia, defend the honor of our order and drive the enemy back once it came. But we are far outnumbered. Dude, I'm right here. This is our last line of defense. It must not break. Very well, my lord. As you can see, Lord Chrono, it's all my men can do to hold this line. Might you lend your blade to our battle as well? Yes, please. You have my most profound gratitude. The Fiend Lord's troops are positioned just beyond the bridge. Take this with you. It may, may it keep you safe. A golden helm. Well, hello. Uh, equip. Chrono. Golden helm. From a defense of 14 to a defense of 18. Yes, please. Um, I need more helms, to be honest. Alright, uh, you know what? Before I go across the bridge into sudden death, let me go ahead and step out to the world map and save. Yep. Oh. Alright, now we'll charge into sudden death, now that we've saved the game. Uh-oh. <laughs> the skeleton stabbed him, and... Oh, Alzi! I'm Ozzy, one of Lord Magus's three generals, and to his enemies I grant death. Go, my children. Take them to their graves. Can you say that now? I know how this goes. Ozzy's the one controlling the undead. Knock out Ozzy, and the undead go with him. Oh. Is it just lightning? Is it mean to? Ozzy's spell is broken. Oh, that was quicker. Okay. Um, stronger than I thought. Wait up already. <laughs> Seems I misjudged you the first time, but I won't do that twice. <laughs> okay. Fine. We'll play it this way. Slay them all. Yeah, I thought that would do a little more damage. Bam. Ozzy's spell is broken yet again. 144 XP, 8 tech points, 160 gold. Drat. That's it. This time you're finished. I mean it. Does anybody want a peanut? Oh wait, no. That was a wonderful movie, but not the... Uh... <laughs>
Okay. Isn't it about time you gave up? Mess with Chrono and you'll be sorry. As he summons in... The biggin. The big skeleton. Yikes. Go Zombor! Crush Lord Magus's enemies. <laughs> As the general runs away. Okay, combo. We're gonna go ahead and get the aura whirl going, because I know some hit points are low. And we're gonna attack the head with regular. Because it is immune to fire. And it does healing on the bottom, so there's no point in attacking the bottom when it's just going to heal the damage. Alright, so let's go ahead and... No, not lightning. Um, here, we'll wind slash the head. We'll ice the head. We'll attack the head. Bam! Ah! Death, death, death. Oh no. No way that's going to be good. Alright, let's go ahead. And... Do I want to do another roll? No, uh, no. We'll do a wind slash on the head. We'll do an ice on the head. Do a regular attack on the head. Is it not dead yet? Not dead yet. Bam! Uh, shoot. I probably should have done an aura whirl. Alright, if Marley lives to do it. Speaking of living to do it, thinning water item. Let's go with a potion to get her up a little bit further. Maybe she'll survive. Oh, bloody oath. Now there goes Chrono. Alright, item. Thinning water. Oh, shoot. This is not going well at all. Alright, and this is where I die. TPK. First one of the game. Oh, shoot. Alright, resume bookmark game. Yes, please. Good thing we saved right before we got... Yeah, oops. Good thing we saved right before we got to the uh, bridge, huh? Alright. Gotta keep a closer eye on health. Oh, Alzi. We'll make this quick, I promise. Attack, attack. Not gonna waste the magic points on you just yet. Attack. And the spell is broken. Ooh, Marley's already looking a little worse for wear. So before I go further, I'm going to do the smart thing and heal Marley back up to full health. Before it gets too low and desperate. <laughs> Alright, skate through the dialogue, get the skeletons again. Then booms and booms and dry booms. Slay them all! Alright, oh. Attack, Aussie, attack, Aussie, attack, Aussie. Bam. Come on. Break the spell. Break Aussie. <laughs> okay. Break him like a cheap guitar. Drat. Alright. Yada yada yada. Talking back. Yakety yak. Okay, Zombor.
All right, let's see if we can dish out just a little bit more damage. Let's go ahead and let's try the Cyclone. And let's go with the Ice. And let's go with the Fire on the Hips and let's try to dish out some uh, massive damage. I know that the Head's immune to Fire and the Hips are immune to Ice. I can either whittle down its hit points or... Um, Uh, yep, let's do that for the moment. Ice on the head, fire on the hips. Because then it's either you're going to keep losing hit points or it's going to start wasting turns healing itself. Because I know one of the two parts does heal itself. I just don't remember which one. Oh, that's where it sucks from my, <laughs> from my own health pool. Not good. Alright, Marley, get your act together. Combo. Aura Whirl. Because let's do this before the hit points start getting too low again. There we go. Although Luca's a little, still a little too low. Might get her to take a potion. Alright, Cyclone. Item. Potion. Ice onto the head. There we go. Everybody's up at the 200s in health. Much better. Heal him. Heal him harder. <laughs> With a furious counterattack. Nice. Okay, good. That's much better progress. Oh, that's finishing him. Okay. <laughs> Well, that went much better, and 1,500 gold to boot. All right, so now we've made it to the southern continent. Remember, this is where we made it um, in 1000 AD. There's that village down there, just like before. There's a house here that's not there in 1000 AD, and there's a village here that's not there in 1000 AD. Curiouser and curiouser. All right, what do we have here? The heroes come at last? Then I suppose it's only a matter of time before the epic battle begins. <laughs> We've had a couple of epic battles already. Welcome. What can I do for you? All right, so he sells potions and that sort of thing. Nothing I need right now. But he's going to thank me for not buying for some reason. And we're going to go to the residence. And... Hey. Mother says I'm not to play outside because it's dangerous with all the monsters. I'm so bored. <laughs> Is it true that His Majesty suffered injury? Oh, what will come of us in our kingdom now? It's locked. Oh dear me, is that Nagabromide you're hiding there? Why, yes it is. Won't you do an old man a favor and trade it to me? I'll give you something good in exchange. All right. Truly, you mean it? Oh, what a glorious day. Now then, just wait right there. No need to get impatient. Old dude moves fast. It's unlocked. Feel free to take what's inside, and I'll be taking this bromide. Hee <laughs> hee. Hmm. A magic capsule. They say the Fiend Lord is a master of the arcane magic of old. The cantrips of his friends are nothing compared to what he wields. Yikes. Oh, where could Sir Cyrus be? Surely he hasn't deserted the kingdom. <laughs> Don't tell Granny. Uh, okay. Alright, so there's the inn and the elder's house. Let's check out the elder's house first. The item I seek is the mythical rainbow shell. Here's some money to cover your expenses. You'll have the rest when you've retrieved it. I'm counting on you, Toma. Worry not, they do not call me a legendary explorer without reason. I will not disappoint. Hm. I'll be awaiting good news. Well then, now that the business is settled, I think I'll go down a drink for the road. I'm a bit busy right now. Let's talk later. Okay. The hero's here to save us. He's strong and he'll stop all the bad monsters. With the rainbow shell, we could make prismatic armor to guard against magic. 
Yet I worry I may have misplaced my trust in that young man. He claims to be a great explorer, but was I right to believe him? I don't know. Pay me and I'll we'll see who gets it first. It said only the ancient sword, the Mazamun, can slay the fiend lord, and only the chosen hero of legend can wield the blade. This house belongs to Dorino's village elder. My, that is unusual garb you wear. Are you outlanders? Did you come fleeing Magus's fiends too? Ah, uh, no. It's just not in style for a little while. Magus conf commands three fearsome generals, Ozzy, Flea, and Slash. And those of you metalheads, oh, <laughs> that, that might not be a bad band either. To get Ozzy doing the vocals, Flea on bass, and Slash on guitar. Yeah, baby. All right. Best stay far away from the lot of them. There's not a drop of humanity to be found amongst them. They're fiends through and through. Magus keeps... Magus's keep sits on an island to the east. The sheer cliffs surrounding it make it inaccessible. Hmm. All right, to the inn. Anything hiding in the dresser? Okay. You, uh, you don't talk to you. A great swordsmith of long ago once forged a masterwork blade called the something or other Mooney. No one alive today has the skill to make a sword to rival it. Have you met the hero already? Nope. Oh, I haven't met him either. I wonder what the champion of the world looks like. I'm so thrilled to see. Greetings, this is the Dorino Inn. It'll cost you 50 gold for the night. Will you stay? Nope. What a shame. I'll be awaiting your return then. Pray, the end of the world is at hand. The end of the world, as we copyright strike. <clears throat> Many people visit inns. If you're searching for someone, inns are a fine place to ask. By the way, did you know whirlwind energy will dissipate if it's hit with a wind slash? Nature has a way of balancing things out. That, folks, is a hint for later. Why you talk to everybody in the end. Ah, hello. How have the days treated you? I've got some information for you if you care to buy me a drink. What say you? Can you spare 30 gold? You know, your drinking habits are more expensive than the last time we met. Alright. Thanks. Barkeep, another round. Word has it, an odd beast has taken up residence deep in the southern wood. Strange as it may sound, they say it's a monstrous frog. How about that, huh? Hmm. <laughs> Magus is trying to summon a terrible evil. If he succeeds, there will be no quarter for us. We'll all perish. That's why I mean to keep hiding in the bottom of this mug. <laughs> That's not a good lesson, kids. Want to hear something interesting? Always. The nun... Denodoro Mountains to the east are filled with monsters called Ogans that wield huge hammers, but burn their weapons and their pussycats. That, folks, is another hint. Tales say the legendary Mazamun sleeps deep within the mountains, but they say a terrible beast rests there as well, guarding the blade. Are the rumors true? Is the Fiend Lord's army truly closing in? Well, the mythical hero has appeared, so I'm sure we'll be all right. Now right, we're going to try to finish our information gathering, and then, uh, and then we'll get go from there. All right. Um, da -da. Oh, there's the magic cave. Uh, I don't think we're going to get to that tonight, because... Time, but let's head to Fiona's villa. My husband Marco hasn't returned from the war, but we planted and tended these woods together, so I mean to do my best to protect them until the day he returns. Uh, I wonder, can you do that now? Probably not, but it's worth trying. No, 
Okay. Um, you'll, you'll see why I did that later. I'll leave that as a, uh, mystery for now. Alright, so we got the magic cave. We've got what are probably the mountains. And then this is going to be the cursed woods. Yeah. That, the cursed woods is our next bit. I'm going to finish up going through the town of poor and then, um, and then we'll call it a night. Got any news or just the end? 20 gold. Paid in advance. Nope. Come again soon. Or not. To market. To market. With this armor, I can join the fight against the Fiend Lord. Uh, so heavy. <laughs> I think I've played that character. Where the army's too heavy. armor's too heavy for him. Or maybe that was somebody else. Okay, so what do we have for armor? We got a golden suit that would be good for everybody. And we've got a Porin Beret. Which would be good only for the girls. We got the money. Let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, let's equip, and she's got a new helmet, and she's got a new helmet. He's only got an iron helm. All right, let's sell our iron helm, both of them. And now that we know that uh, there's armor here that's better than the titanium vest, we'll go ahead and sell that for now to... Do I want to go ahead and get five of these jokers? Hmm. I'll think about that between now and the next episode. Uh, see if there's anything else I'm going to pick up before too long. All right, let's go to the bar. What are you doing hiding in the corner? Have you heard about the magic cave, the one east of the mountains? I saw a sheer rock wall there, part like a castle gate, and then host of fiends strolled right in. Best leave Magus and his cronies to their own devices, though. Lesson you want trouble. Ah, we gotta do the, uh, cursed woods first, then we can go to the magic cave. I can't believe that naughty little urchin, Tata, is the legendary hero. Hmm. Oh, we meet again. Will you buy me a drink? Dude, you, you gotta... I thought the Elder gave you a bunch of money, too. All right. <laughs> Cheers to your safety and success. I tracked down the rainbow shell that the Elder hired me to find. It's on a small island, it seems. But there's the rub. I don't know which one. The money he fronted me is all gone, too. What should I do? Um, stop hitting people up for drinks? But at least now I know where the, uh, the rainbow shell is when it comes to that. I cannot believe the legendary hero is a boy from this very village. Have you heard the latest? No. Well, then let me be the one to tell you the legendary hero is from our own village. Uh, you just told me that. Hey, Barky. Why are you walking further behind? Hey. Hey, lady. Fine. A strange monster came here drinking not long past, mumbling about Queen Lenny and this Mazamun that... There was an ugly frog, man. Ha ha. Hmm, that might be our old friend Frog. Let's go to Tata's house. My own son, the legendary hero. Seems I sired myself a champion. Can't say I truly see it, but I don't suppose I ought to question good fortune. Father of the hero. I like the ring of it. Don't mind me while I loot through everything in your house. Hey, Gramps. My grandson is the great hero. He's from my side of the family. <laughs> Isn't that usually the way it goes? When they're doing something good, it's my side of the family. When they're doing something not good, it's your side of the family. All right, let's go to the elder's house, and then we'll wrap this up. 
because it is running a little longer than I wanted. Oh, there's there's two boxes here. Got to remember that. If only I had some spiced jerky. What a wondrous meal I could make. I'm going to be Tato's bride one day. The boxes beside the bed have been handed down through this family for generations. I've not the slightest inkling what's within. Find a way to open them and the contents are yours. A place known as the Magic Cave lies east of the mountains. That place sends a chill down a grown man's spine. Tata bears the hero's badge. At first I thought it for a fake, but it's the genuine article. He's truly the hero of legend. I suspect he's combing the... Donato Mountains to the north even now, searching for the sword the legends speak of. Oh. Alright, so. We've gathered our intel. It looks like the Magic Mountain thing isn't going to happen until later. We need to get through the Cursed Woods to the mountain to the north. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and save the game. Save the game. Save the game tonight. Oh, wait, no. I'm not going to... That's a different one. Can't remember the tune. Okay, so <laughs> this is where we go to the credits. And this is where I say thank you for joining along so far. If you're watching live on Twitch or Mixer, that is it for tonight. And uh, if you want to watch live, I stream Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. There's a link in the description below if you haven't already. Follow in Twitch or Mixer. Get notified when I go live and sub definitely, definitely, no matter what, subscribe to the YouTube channel. It helps the channel out, and you'll get notified when new episodes and other content get posted. So if you missed part of the live stream, you'll be able to catch up on whatever you missed. And uh, with all that said and done, for uh, the live folks, I'll see you next week. For the YouTube folks, I will see you after I record the next uh, set of sessions. Have fun.